Okay, well, we're back. I'm just got my uh, Makita vacuum here. <laughs> same piece that I need so I'm totally thrilled about that so that thing I will take this out I didn't clean that <laughs> this vacuum's great but it's not great with the bristle the uh, little brush attachment okay so, I'm just gonna put that on temporarily and I'm going to see if I can get this to get in the right position. It looks to me like it doesn't want to drop down. Is it because it's not in right or is it because to me that I had it on upside down. This part here goes on. Yeah, it's basically like that inside there. Not like that. I'm not sure what was going on there, but I believe that's this is the way it goes. So it goes like that. So I just clipped on those, clipped on the backs, snapped in those two little deals, and as far as I know, that should be good. Now I have to uh, put this uh, circuit board part carefully. Just, it just sits there snug. This is so weird. And I can plug this in. plug that in, what I'm going to do is 
turn the key and see if this lights up. Red light, orange light. Okay. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera. It's so weird. I can see it plain as day without it. But all right. So, oh man, what a job just to get that out. Now, um, there's really no way to test this. I guess. I, I, I guess I could test it without putting the console back on. Um, yeah. I suppose so. Um, this thing goes on there. It actually goes... It's so weird how this goes on. You would think this is like held in place by the um, center console, but really it's not. And uh, it's got these two flanges on each side and it locks in place on this it's so weird so that's the oh, there. so now I guess I can um, see what happens when I turn the wheel see if those lights up I mean, not the wheel, but the... It's pretty sturdy. And it's a neutral. That's always good. So I can... All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the shift knob lever back on it and just make sure that it works properly before I do everything. So, all right. Okay. So I just popped this in the very end there you can see that little why that's white get rid of that it kind of looks ugly a little bit of plastic on that guy all right now so this one here you can see I mean it just it fits in there fits in those little holes at the end see that kind of snaps in place and then everything else drops in. See this? Just kind of drops in. Now keep an eye on these. As you push down on the console, this will actually snap into the center console, which is really interesting. It's all one piece. I always thought this was separate, so you know, my god. Alright, now I'm going to have to, uh, obviously, adjust the tension on the um, emergency brake now that it's in. But you can see why you have to take that, loosen that up, because it, otherwise it doesn't uh, fit through this slot here. Alright, so I am going to check. I decided to check this before, just to make sure I didn't you know, mess up. I'm going to start the car up and put it into gear and see what happens just make sure this thing works properly and then we'll go from there all right well success so I just loosely have this thing in place right now and I just put this back on just drops on and you release this pin and it you know everything's good so if you need to take it off again I just use a piece of paper and a little, I might as well show you. So you put the car in, put the car in neutral, pull this out, slip this little piece of paper inside that little um, groove that you've created when you, you can see it, see that little groove right there, little opening keep this in there so that this doesn't keep going back and then you actually pull this little shroud you actually pull it down you see that right there just pulls down a little bit 
but apparently the car has to be either in reverse or neutral or whatever, but I had it in neutral. And then you can pull up. you got to use quite a bit of force. Just pull this straight up as you're doing. I put gloves on, actually. Um, some rubber gloves because I have just a little bit of grip. Just pull up, and then it's weird how it just pops up. All right. Now we've got this, and it shifts really nicely, actually. It shifts better than it did before. So this, this little part must have been a little bit of a problem before. Um, I didn't even know it, but I think it was a problem because it wasn't shifting as easily, but now it just shifts so nicely. So, you know, put it in reverse. You see my reverse camera goes on, uh, the stereo with the camera, and I put it into neutral or drive and it goes away. So, um, I had to start my car because uh, the battery died because I had it in, uh, essentially I had the engine or the um, on switch because I couldn't pull the key out the entire time. So um, it just basically drained the battery. So that thing goes away. All right. So now I just need to adjust the tension on the emergency brake and work on all the other screws getting them back there's only a few screws it's not that big of a deal for screws wise but I, I did notice that when you take these screws out of these sides here there it's actually far back there and what ends up happening is the screw because it's not that long it actually falls behind this plastic panel so um, maybe if you use a magnetic tip, I'm not sure if these are magnetic, you know, um, if it's metal, that will be magnetic or not. But um, yeah, so my, my tips weren't magnetic and they just, they fell. So um, they fall right in the little hole that they come out of. So just keep that in mind. Um, I did everything with my uh, impact wrench. It's my light duty Makita impact wrench with the T20 tip and then I put the the um, socket actually um, the socket on it to do the the bolt for the armrest and it's good so I think we're good to go and I'll tell you what my sunshade's really helping because it doesn't feel hot in here at all, all right. Hopefully somebody out there needed to do this and this is on a 2008 Beetle with the Tiptronic Obviously, so that little part that I had to replace um, It just disintegrated and then completely fell apart So I'm glad that uh, It's good, but now I noticed that there's a leak in the coolant system. So that's a new thing. So what I'm going to do now is I actually had the battery charger on it earlier. I think I'm going to put the battery charger back on it. Let's see if the coolant just leaks. Oh. Yeah, so you see that right there? That's a coolant leak. You can see it. 